this with um, with the situation with Johnny. Uh, well, I, uh, it's been uh, 11 years now that uh, his uh, his untimely <laughs> passing. Uh, I played with Johnny for about. Uh, uh, about a year and a half, and it was a very, very uh, enlightening and pleasant experience. Uh, he is a. Uh, he was a. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't want to say genius. Uh, I, I, I would say he was an innovator. Uh, he was very true to uh, to rhythm and blues. He had. Uh, he had jazz, strong jazz and gospel roots. Uh, even though he was a guitar player, as most people know, uh, he could uh, he could play Oscar Peterson uh, uh, type uh, piano. Uh, uh, a lot of times uh, when we would uh, at a rehearsal. Uh, he would just uh, during the break. He would just go to the piano and just you know just whip out you know uh, 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 an Oscar Peterson uh, song and just and play it you know. Uh, but I uh, I think he went to uh, playing guitar because uh, he could have more of a connection with the audience. Uh, you know he was restricted to playing. But uh, with the guitar, you know, uh, especially like wireless, man, he just meandered through the crowd and, and uh, really did his thing. I, I learned a lot uh, from him. You know, he was uh, he was my mentor, and uh, I uh, I admired him uh, uh, maybe more as a person than as a as a musician. Yeah, it surprised me. You are not a Watson fan. It's not, not really. I'm not. Uh, 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 I, I hold his friendship in the highest, uh, in highest esteem. Uh, yeah, but you're not a, a special fan of his music. No, 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 not really. No, uh, I like it, you know. But uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not much of a fan of um, uh, of. Uh, most musicians, any, you know, uh, I have I have uh, favorite uh, people that I like to listen to, uh, but uh, I like playing with Johnny. It was it was more uh, uh, it, it was more of a mutual uh, respect. Uh, I respected his music, and he respected uh, the way I played his music. And and uh, uh, that's it, it. Didn't go beyond, you know. Uh, didn't our, our, uh, my relationship with 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 Johnny didn't go beyond playing his music and just dealing with him as an individual. As far as like listening to his music or collecting his music or sitting down and analyzing his music. No, I ne I never did that. I I just. Uh, basically, uh, listen to it uh, to get the feel, of, of, uh, the feeling that that uh, that the overall uh, presented, and uh, I just I just play guitar to where I felt uh, uh, it would be uh, the most effective. So I, 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 my, my approach to to, uh, to Johnny's music was was kind of uh, uh, I would I would imply my style into his music, and he liked that. And uh, that's that basically that's that was that was the extent of our uh, of our relationship. Uh, it was more more that I dealt with with him as a person. I loved him, man. He was, Great guy. And you were hired by uh, uh, Michael King <coughs> yes. in 94, after the big success of uh, Bowo. Exactly. Uh, Johnny had to go on tour. Right. Why did he not uh, hire the guitarist of 93, the year before? When he was on the North Sea Jazz Festival in Holland too. I I think uh, I think Johnny wanted to uh, 
uh, want to start a, 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 a different. He wanted. He, uh, he wanted to make a change. I think. Uh, uh, I don't. You know. I don't really know. Uh, uh, the, the, the other, th the former guitar player, might not have been available. Uh, Michael King, uh, his musical director at the time, was a personal friend of mine. And uh, uh, after, uh, I think, um, um, after the Bow Wow album was uh, was released. Um, there was some tours and, and some and some live dates that came about, and uh, I think previous to that, I think John, Johnny's band really wasn't tech, and uh, uh, he called. Uh, I think uh, what they did was they they called uh, other that were available and I think maybe the guitar player just wasn't available and uh, Michael called me and uh, said that uh, Johnny Guitar Watson needs a guitar and, uh, hey man if uh, you know there's an audition you know and, you know I, you know like it come down so you know I went uh, got there uh, about uh, half an hour before Johnny came and uh, we listened to uh, a few few songs, and I, you know, uh, picked up, uh, you know, picked up what what the song was doing, and then uh, Johnny came in, and uh, we started uh, playing. Uh, oh, I, I don't even remember what song it was. It might have been. Um, uh, ain't that a bitch? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> And uh, maybe um, uh, a minute into into the song, it was you know Johnny said, "Hey, that's it, you know, you the guy, you know." And uh, I was uh, I was very so sure. Johnny was with it. Yeah, it was not only Michael who said so, but but Johnny, yeah, but Johnny, he, you know, he, 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 he took the final decision. Right. And yeah. it was uh, it was uh, <laughs> uh, I was very proud of that, you know, and. Uh, and from from that point on, uh, Johnny and I uh, uh, we developed a, a, a close uh, uh, kinship. You know, uh, I admired him; he admired me, and uh, we had a ritual uh, before uh, we would go on stage. Uh, we would tune up, tune our guitars. Uh, Cause he uh, he played with a capo, a capo, a capo which is uh, a device. Yes, uh, that you I know. Can, you, can, you can put on the uh, the on the guitar. The length you can, of the strings. You can play, strings. You can play yes. a different strings. Cause Johnny Johnny played the guitar with a uh, with, with his fingers. Open, yeah, with his fingers. No, and he played an open he played an open string technique. He, I mean he he liked uh, he liked had the open string. So like if he. Uh, if the, if the song was in F, uh, he would put the capo, you know, on the on the first fret, so that he would have an open F, so that when he solo, he he, he really liked to. It was a way he he would stoke that open string, and uh, so uh, he would put his his capo on his guitar, and then uh, and then I would just jam. I would just play a rhythm. And he was solo on, on on top of the rhythm that I was playing, and that kind of that kind of juiced us up, man, and got us uh, for our performance. That, this was something that we did after, I did before every performance that we did. Yeah, and you could have been with John for many, many more years. Oh, because you fit together very well. Yeah, as a as a matter of fact, it was a uh, uh, it was a very tragic thing when uh, when uh, when Johnny passed because yeah, you was you were on stage too. Yeah, on that moment. Yeah, uh, tell me what happened. Uh, it was in Oklahoma. No, it was in uh, Yokohama. Yokohama. Uh -huh. Yokohama, Japan. I think it might have been like the uh, the third night of a uh, of a four uh, four night um, engagement that we had in, in in Japan. The fourth performance. I think it was the fourth. Oh, performance. I, I thought it was the first performance. No, no, no. And it was the first song. No, no. It, no. it was. Okay, we it was um, uh, I think it was it was four it was four nights I, I believe that we were playing there and we had already did a couple of nights 
if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it was not in a third, big on the third night. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny passed. It was on. It was during the first song. It was during uh, Superman Love. Because that was the first song that we did uh, on his uh, on his show, and uh, he when he started, uh, well, I should say before that, we were while we were in the dressing room, he was uh, very jovial, you know. Uh, you know, he was Johnny always liked the kid around and, and joke and stuff. As a matter yeah. of fact, he was he was uh, doing a Michael Jackson imitation. He was like moonwalking in the in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, so we um, uh, when it was time for us to play, uh, you know, the band. Uh, uh, we went went to the stage and uh, we started playing his uh, his come on music. There's a there's a up tempo very up tempo song that we play and that we bring Johnny on to that. And then uh, uh, we played that. Johnny came up came up on, on stage and uh, did a did a greeting to the people and uh, counted off the, the, the first song and. Uh, uh, as we got into the song, uh, he started, uh, when he started to sing, he started skipping words. And uh, I thought, oh wow, you know, his voice is not, you know, he, he, he's not in good voice tonight. And uh, usually uh, Michael and I would uh, kind of sing under him to uh, k kind of fortify his, his, his vocal because his, his uh, a lot of his recordings uh, he doubled his voice so to make it sound full like that we would kind of sing underneath him you know kind of uh, and uh, uh, after he was skipping the kind of skipping a few words it was like oh god we you know we it's going to be a lot of work on us because we're going to have to sing along with him you know for the whole night you know and uh, he uh, he got to a part of the song I, I never forget it. Uh, he said, "Faster than a speeding bullet." Yeah. <laughs> and then he didn't say anything else. And I looked over at him. at that time. Uh, he had grabbed the mic stand and eased himself to the floor. And and rolled over and just uh, on his side. He was laying on his side, and uh, uh, I think Michael Michael might have been the first one to get to him. And the the, the people they they didn't uh, the audience they didn't know what was going on. And they I think they might have thought it was part of the act or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, everybody was stunned, and uh, the public did not realize what they was didn't happening. Realize, no, no, and. Uh, because he was acting strange all the time. Right. On right. stage. Yeah. But uh, he, uh, they rolled him over and, and, and he was, uh, Michael, uh, Michael had him in his arms, actually. And uh, was just calling to him, Johnny, 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 you know. And uh, looked at him and, and his, uh, so his eyes turned red as this, the whites of his eyes, turning, and then you can see the life leaving, yeah, you can see it, yep, yeah. and uh, it, um, it left the, the, the band, um, we were uh, uh, shocked, and uh, kind of displaced, you know. Uh, we still had a day left. We had another night that we were supposed to play, and uh, it was. Uh, I think this happened on a Saturday night, and the last performance was be on Sunday, and then we were supposed to go home on a Monday. But uh, from the moment that Johnny passed. To when we finally got on the plane Monday to go home, it was it was it was like you were in the twilight zone. It was you know I mean 
uh, uh, our, uh, most of, most of the guys in the band, um, uh, they they had other they had other um, uh, situations, other bands they played with and and whatnot. But like for Michael and like myself, uh, our Johnny was like like the primary. Um, uh, employment, in, in, as a matter of yeah. fact, that we had at the time, and uh, it was it was a, 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 a huge emptiness, huge emptiness yeah, when he passed. Empty, yeah. huge, yeah. And uh, I don't think uh, I don't think Michael played for uh, several months. Yeah, he was. Michael Michael really grieved uh, Johnny. Uh, he, he and Johnny are uh, like brothers. Uh, Johnny, uh, Mike, Mike helped him uh, helped him in, in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. Uh, a month before on Dutch TV, the Johnny told, "I've done bad things in my life, but it's all over now, and I'm feeling better than ever before." A month before, and now you told me even five minutes before. Yeah, he was joking in the oh, yeah, man. <laughs> in the dressing oh, room. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it in a, a big hall or a small? Small. It was a, uh, uh, a small club. Uh, uh, well, Japanese uh, venues uh, are, are, are 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 small anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, but they, uh, they're very, uh, they're very receptive, though, of, of uh, American music and of, uh, icons such as, such as Johnny, you know. Uh, they're, they're very much into the blues, the, uh, uh, R&B, the old school, uh, uh, jazz, you know, yeah. Very much, very much into into American music. Yeah. Now tell me, why is Johnny not a genius? I, I, I <laughs> genius. I, I don't. That's a, that's a Beethoven. He was a, a genius. Word. Yeah, that's a that's a word. I think that's that's that that, that might be overused. Uh, uh, Who composed more, more lyrics, more music? Who? Was a I, was more able to make contact with the public you, uh, than Johnny. Then, then, well, I um, I don't. You know what? I don't. I don't really look at it at it, at it that way. I, he was uh, outstanding in in was, every aspect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He played that, all that, instruments. He had his one man band <laughs> yeah. years ago. Yeah. 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 I. You know. Uh, I think. Um, I I, uh, I think most importantly uh, is that Johnny Johnny was just he was just true he was he, to me he was the consummate rhythm and blues artist he was the guitar you know his his, 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 his approach on guitar um, and his. Uh, 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 his the, his lyrical content and and his delivery it was rhythm and blues you know uh, um, what was established in the 50s you know uh, uh, Johnny took that and and let that uh, Make his music go through five decades. Johnny, Johnny had he had music in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. Five decades, and it's all the same. It was the same style of music. It's and and. That's what impresses me the most is that he was true, true to his, to his roots, and what, and and what he felt, and he knew how to make what he felt 
commercial without trying to be commercial. Johnny, Johnny wasn't, he wasn't really commercial. No, not at all. But he had, he had commercial success. Yeah. You know, he had, definitely had commercial success. Yeah. You know, and uh, genius. Okay. Legend. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>